All right, so let's go ahead and look at creating this structure here. Again, I'm going to create a different composable. I'm going to make this previewable. So preview as such, and then at composable, this same function. I'm going to call this rounded. button because it is indeed a button okay or we could call something else but rounded button sounds better all right so i'm going to pass a label here because each one will need a label it's going to be a string let's close this so we don't have distractions and let's set it to reading for now and then let's pass a radius it's gonna be an integer and let's set it to 29 as the default and we're gonna need the on press okay see so on press um, let's just say pass an empty there and it's gonna be a unit all right so inside here I'm gonna start by putting together a surface and let's pass a modifier, a modifier. And I'm going to go straight to clipping because I want to clip into a shape. So I'm going to pass, let's go past rounded, rounded corner shape. And I'm going to change a few things differently depending on the side of the shape, right? Because you see here, this structure has this side, it's going to be like this, and this is going to be different and the tops. So there's a lot of different uh, rounding that I'm going to add to each side okay so bottom so bottom and percentage i'm going to pass the radius that we're passing and top start is also going to be the radius so we're looking at the bottom end this is the bottom end and top start is going to be this so these two will have the same percentages of roundness Okay, and let's go ahead and give it a color. I have a special color for it, like this, we've seen before. And that's good. Now we're going to go into the contents of it. So column, like this, and I'm going to pass modifier again. Width, in this case, I'm going to make it 90 dp. And then I'm going to say, oops. And then I'm going to say height in. This is a different function that I'm going to call here. So let's go ahead and hover over and see what this is. Well, this is going to arrange things differently. So it's going to constrain the height of, of the content to be between min dip and max dip as permitted by the incoming measurement. Okay. So we are trying to make sure that the contents of this surface, in this case, this one button, will be constrained somehow. So the constraint we're going to pass is going to be about 40.dp, depending on on the overall, depending on our surface and where this surface is being laid out. And then I'm going to make this clickable. In fact, we're not going to do anything. I'm going to make this clickable. I'm just going to say on press. OK, so there we go. All right, let's go continue here. I want to make sure that the vertical arrangement is center and horizontal alignment here is going to be center horizontally. Okay, so inside now I'm going to add a text. This text is going to have a label which is going to be passed along. And let's give a style, uh, let's say text style, different ways of styling things. This is the beauty of compose of course so I'm going to say color just give a color that white and font size let's give it about 15 SP okay and that's it now this rounded button it's going to be called so right after our column I'm just gonna put another row right here and say horizontal arrangement space between and 
then vertical alignment bottom like this then here let's add our rounded button let's just pass a label sure that says reading and let's pass a radius of about 70 like that okay let's see if this is going to show something okay so there it is but it's not necessarily where we want it to be it's right at the top here so this has to come down here okay so i think what i need to do is this has to still be inside of this column so let's put inside of the column there refresh we should probably have it down here hopefully let's see okay that's good it's good progress um, we want this to be all the way to the right but at least we know it's part of this column here so it's looking really good very nice but this is the power of using compose because you can take a card for instance and clip to make it look the way you want it to look okay so this is good now we need to figure out a way to get this to the right so what we can do because we have this inside of a row we have space in between in fact let's see if we can say push that to end right so that whatever it is inside of our row is going to go to the end of the row let's see if this is going to help and voila that works perfectly of course it looks a little bit strange because we don't have that image there but at least we have the infrastructure that we need so back to our home let me go uh, let's close this down well actually our home content because this is what's called inside of our home how about adding let's see this is our row just this is our column very good so how about here i'm gonna pass just real quick our list card let's go ahead and run in fact before we run let's see if that's gonna show let's just go ahead and run real quick here i think it'll be better that way we have this very nice card it says reading look at that and we have the ratings and heart and the one thing that is missing is of course an image here and uh, we can change that later but at least we see this structure is working all right it's looking really good very exciting all right so once we add the image then we should be golden this is good all right it's coming together pretty nicely ah it's exciting Next, we'll continue working on finalizing our main screen here and hopefully uh, attach an image here, a dummy image, so we can see how it all works. Okay, but so far, you can even click on it. It's really good.